Hey guys, Michael Shamblum here. This is going to be a super quick Adobe Premiere tutorial. I'm basically going to teach you guys really quickly how to reverse sequences, how to speed up sequences, slow them down, and also do super quick time remapping. So let's go ahead and just get started. Right now I've got this 4K time lapse clip on a sequence. So if you haven't already done that, go ahead and just bring your uh, clip into a sequence. Let's, let's make it faster first. So what you want to do here is you can click Command R to bring up the clip speed and duration. You can also right click and you will find it right here. And what we can do here is to speed the clip up, just change the percentage and make the percentage greater. So right now we're at 100%. If I want to speed it up twice, let's just do 200, bam, and it already does it for us and if we play it through it's going to be faster if we want to make it even faster than that 400 bam it's going to change the length of the of the clip and that's even faster slowing down we can do 50 that's going to slow it down beyond its original uh, now for time lapse or for stuff that you didn't shoot uh, le like let's say you had um, your footage at at uh, 30 frames per second and you decided to s uh, slow it down to 50%, 50 uh, your footage might look a little bit choppy. You can also do, um, right here, if you do time interpolation, you can select optical flow. And sometimes that helps smoothen out slowing down clips, but you'll also find some weird compression in different areas. Uh, but for some clips, it actually does work. Like for this clip, it actually seems to be working okay. Um, but yeah, just be careful using it. Just make sure you use quality control if you want to slow things down. Um, you know, obviously if you're using like 60 frames per second or you shot something at 120 or you have like a slow motion camera and you don't have to worry about slowing stuff down, not a problem. Go wild with it. Uh, let's go back to 100. So you want to reverse something super simple. Uh, as before, just click reverse speed and your clip will now be reversed. Simple as that. Now, time remapping is just a little bit more complicated, but not really that complicated. Right now we've got it 100. We don't have it re reversed. Let's go ahead and go back to frame sampling. Okay, so here's our clip. For time remapping, we want to go up to the video effects right here and select right there. Here's time remapping. And here's our speed at 100. Let's go ahead and bring this down again. The way I like to time remap is, and what time remapping is, if, if you don't know, it's basically ramping. Um, so you can change speeds throughout the clip. Like I can make it go super fast, then super slow, then super fast again. Um, what you want to do is just create a nice keyframe here depending on what you want to do. So let's say I wanted to make this clip start out at normal speed and then go really fast towards the end. Well, I'm just going to take, now that we made a keyframe here, we're basically splitting the clip and I can take this side of it and just drag this up. And you can see the speed going up on the left side. So let's go to like 500. No, let's go even fast. Let's go to like, let's go to a thousand. And as you can see, when I did that, it made the clip a lot shorter because it has to compensate for the amount you're changing the speed. Now, if we pull apart these little, I don't know what you'd call them, little markers, you can see I'm creating this ramp right here. And what the ramp is doing is that's going to change the speed over time. So we have 100, speed 100 right here and we have super fast speed right here. And in between, it's changing, it's like gradating the speed. So 100, it's going all the way up to 1,000. And we can change this as much as we want. We can make this bigger. So if we want to watch what we did, let's just go ahead and, so there we go. So starts out, let's watch that one more time. Starts out at 100, speeds up towards the end, and if we change the ramp, make it smaller, let's watch it one more time, 
slow, super fast. And then you can create a new keyframe if you'd like, kind of do different stuff with it. So if we take this down, make a bigger, make a ramp right here. Let's see what this does. So right now we're at 100, it goes fast, then it goes slow again. Let's see how that looks. Slow, fast, slow again. So anyways, that is how to time remap. If you have any more questions about anything that I've covered in this video, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will try and get to them. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much.